Hey everybody and welcome back. So in this episode we are going to be heading towards uh, Nahant Wharf. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. And meeting a courser so we can take a, a synth back to the institute. That's pretty much it. Why did I do that? Now that I've taken a proper look, uh, this this does nothing for me. I should have crossed over there. Ah, uh, you did. Oh, I did. Why? Ah, oh, look. Oh, I'll swim. Fuck it. It's fine. Oh, cool, it's the Brotherhood. For Elder it's my boys. For now. Ah, oh, the one I I don't want to fight another assault tron. No, stay back, go away. I know I can defeat you easily, but it's just a pain and a waste of ammo, which I'm positive I'm going to need, because from what I remember of Libertalia, it's a pretty big place. What is going on? Oh, he's fighting the Brotherhood. I think there was a Brotherhood. Ooh. I'm gonna make this as painful as possible. Okay, so they're either the Brotherhood or... Gunners. I can't tell. Uh, just talk to me, will you? You pain in the ass. Uh huh. I wonder if I just sit somewhere, will... But like, can I just wait until this is over? Is that it? You're dead. Ooh, hello, that's coming down. I was quite surprised the first time I saw that happen. Because I didn't think you'd be able to take those things down. Fun though. It's a fun you little animation. Yes, sir. 
Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. I doubt you can keep up with this trench. Best you stay on the bench. What do we know about this synth, Gabriel? Designation B-592 is holed up in the shack on top of the upended cargo ship. He's probably got his best fighters with him, so we should plan on heavy resistance. So, are you ready to go in? I can handle these raiders on my own. I have no reason to doubt that, sir, but I have my orders. If you take on that synth, I'll be right there with you. Whoa! What's going on? I haven't even opened fire yet. Automatically with a stim pack, okay. I, I have no idea where I'm getting shot from. I have no idea what's happening with the joystick right now, but apparently I can't run. It could be the terrain, actually. I don't know. Might not be the controller doing that. Ah, uh, this is... this is hell.
Ooh, hello. I haven't got that much junk on me actually, so it's all apparel. Then again, I have got a lot of combat stuff, so. I'm going to walk very slowly upstairs until Deacon appears because I want him to catch. well I know he's got stuff as well on there Fire. okay let me see if I can find the container or something ah screw it I'll drop it then oh that's going to come in so handy something important I need to tell you. What is it? I'm going to give you B592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say B592 initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code Gamma 71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. What do you mean by reset his cognitive processes? Put more simply, the recall code will render him unconscious even while he's still standing. That's all, sir. Ready when you are. Automatic insta pistol has a weight of five, so yeah, I can drop that. Oh, cool. I was really confused then as to where I was 
supposed to go. Well done, your gear. I'm gonna guess you two are agents just like me. So, into the town. Stealing plunder from honest, hard-working Commonwealth gangs. How much plunder have you got? Ah. So you are here. What are you doing, boss? We can take these guys. Keep your mouth shut. I know what I'm doing. We got a modest little stash. I I'll tell you what. I'll give it to you freely if you walk away afterwards. You say? You have my word. Give me what you got, and we'll leave. This guy's no angel, but give him the alternative. The password to get into the stash is Mad Orca. Help yourself, my fellow pirate. We can all be careful. I'm sorry, sir, but I have my orders. I'm usually not a fan of one. Gamma, seven, one, epsilon. What? Are you okay? Gabriel, can you hear me? Shit, they did something to him. Take them out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was kind of a dick move on his part, but I suppose he did have a mission to complete. That was me talking my way out of combat. He's just like, do this. Oh, god. Okay. No, one of my settlements has been damaged. But uh, there's still two people there, so that's fine. There's 11 people there. That is... Uh, that is going at a better rate than Sanctuary Hills is. And I don't know how. And return to the Institute. Um, yeah. I wouldn't be here Fuck you too. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Why do you care what happens on the surface? You're in your own world down here. Because there are forces on the surface that could pose a threat to us. And only a fool ignores a possible threat. We might diminish that danger by correcting the false perception that we intend some great harm to mankind. But enough about that. The task is done. You've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Cool. It does mean, though, that I have to walk down all these bloody steps, all these stairwells. And I walk up another set of stairwells. Ugh. Sir, we've had another situation. A code red. What? This is the third time in two weeks. This is unacceptable. 
How could this happen? We think there was a system glitch. We're looking into it. Damn it, you're all useless. The quarters are just inside, sir. In the meantime, tell the others to be on high alert. I want more patrols and more rounds. When you're right finished away, here, sir, you see anything, father you wants to see you. Report it immediately. This episode cannot happen again. Got it? Yes, sir. Understood. Yeah, the Battle of Bunker Hill. That's going to be a fun one. Okay, need to dump off a few guns. I can't remember if that's the one. No, that is the one, because the other one's got a name, isn't it? Yeah. Le Fusil Terrible, 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 whatever. That thing. Uh, I'll keep that. Don't, I've only got like 13 rounds for it, but I'll keep it. Um, I'll keep that, obviously. Okay, now time for a parrel. I'll put that away. I might keep that. I'll put that away. I'll put that away. That away. might do is check out that combat armor now Yeah, okay, that goes in the container. Eventually, I'll make the full move over the combat armor because the combat armor isn't too bad. So your father's father. What is it? Yep. Sure is weird. Ah, okay. Now I have to go to the boardroom. Don't don't I? Is this the boardroom? No, it's not. Never mind. Hello, father. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen it from you? That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths in their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. What happened? What have they done? They are in possession of technology that does not belong to them. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. 
but it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the Sims. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? Of course, sir. We'll be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need me. But we want to keep this small. All right. So. I'm just gonna do a little bit of traveling. Specifically to the Predwin, and then to the Railroad HQ, <laughs> and then to Bunker Hill. ourselves the UP Death Claws. For the kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a sin. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage and graduated to some beatdowns. Then, inevitably, I'll let you. The Claws leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the sin. Looking back, I'm not so sure. You killed someone? That one was enough for me. It was his eyes. Those eyes haunt me. Bulging. So I turned my back on my brothers. Broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. Barbara, well, she was... Lovers. Her eyes. We were trying for kids, eking out a living. Then one day, it turns out my Barbara, she was a sin. She didn't know that. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the Death Claws found out. There was blood. So they killed her? Yes. I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the Claws. I must have made a big impression. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. The railroad let you in, even though you were once in the death claws? So many years had passed, I don't think anyone, well, except for the claws, knew that. All they knew is, someone fought back. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Dez, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. Hey. Everyone's got a past. The important thing is you're trying to make up for it. I'm still on your side. I'm not the hugging type. So, yeah. Good talk. Cloak and dagger perk. Nice. That's probably because he doesn't have a quest. Some of the companions have quests in order to get the highest level of affinity you have to complete the quest anyway I'm gonna call it a day here before I start the battle of Bunker Hill in earnest 
hope you're all enjoying the walkthrough. Uh, I'm really getting into some of the bigger parts of the game now, um, story-wise, which is kind of fun. I like bigger set pieces and whatnot. Uh, if you could leave a like, leave a comment below, uh, show some support, or just ask a question and I'll try and get back to you. Or uh, hit that subscribe button, which should be appearing on the screen at any moment now. Uh, it should be on now, <laughs> if you can see it, if I remember to put that end screen on. Um, yeah, but for now, that's pretty much it. So, until next time, you take care, and you have a great day.